Hi, I'm Glenn Koldenhoff, riding for Team the Netherlands in the motocross of nations in Germany. Hey, I'm Harry Kulas, Team Finland. Hey, I'm Jake Nichols. We're here in Lichtenvoort for the Dutch Championship, uh, one week before um, Torschental for the motocross of nations, where I'll be representing Team Great Britain. Yeah, for sure there is many guys, you know, especially Ken, uh, Ken Roxen, you know, he, he dominated in uh, Europe and then uh, I was, he's quite, quite top on uh, AMA also, so the rest uh, mix two guys. It's, it's nice to compare, not just from my side, but also the other uh, mix two riders who are riding Europe to, against the uh, Americans, so I think it's, it's a nice race every year, so to compare how is the speed. I'm actually feeling quite normal, you know. Uh, it's actually the biggest event of the year, but um, I'm staying quite cool of it. Uh, I'm actually really motivated for it. Uh, I think we can do a good job there, and uh, it's always nice uh, to, yeah, to fight with the best guys of the world. And uh, um, our team is going to be uh, it's coming out, so um, I still don't know which which riders will go, but. Uh, for sure, with our Dutch team, uh, we will make the best of it, and uh, we are all really motivated, so uh, that's good. Ah, Glenn Koldenhoff is topper! Glenn Koldenhoff! Glenn Koldenhoff! Can we go back to those days When everything was simple then And nothing could ever change Can we go back to those days We didn't ever give it all I wish I could remain back in yesterday. Yeah, I mean, uh, with 250, it's always uh, more difficult with uh, to against with the 450s. But there has been some good guys like Ken Roxen. He has showed the speed, so also. Uh, he can be also top three even with the MX2 bike, so I think it doesn't matter actually. Only big problem is the start, so uh, just if you get good start, uh, then it, I think it doesn't matter in the end, you know, because if you're a good rider, you can ride fast with any bike, so for sure uh, the slower rider, it's more difficult with, uh, against the big bikes because they can uh, have a gap in the straight and then corner, maybe you catch them again, but uh, if someone, some guy can do it, then you need to do also. I think we can do good, you know, like I think um, every rider can aim for a top five in their class. E like, not easily, but that's definitely a realistic goal. So if we can sort of aim for that, then the end result could look all right, you know, it could be on the podium. But I don't think all three of us are really worried about, you know, we're not going there saying, yeah, we're going to be on podium or anything like that. We're just going there to get, do ourself like top five, try and get in the top five in our class. But still, you know, so much can happen. So I think the best strategy for us anyway is just to go out there and crack on. Yeah. 